A common question we get asked in hospice and palliative care is what is similar, what is different, when does one start, when does one end? So I think the best way to think about palliative care and hospice is more along a time frame, you know, the when of palliative care. So thinking about a patient's life over the course of time, this graphic will hopefully help paint a picture. You always start with preventative care. So patients are getting their mammograms, their colonoscopies, they're not smoking, um, drinking responsibly, all of those good things go into preventative care. When a patient does get diagnosed with a terminal life-limiting illness like heart failure, COPD, cancer, then they get started on mostly what we call disease modifying or life prolonging therapies. So these would be inhalers for COPDs. If it's a cancer, maybe it's a surgery or radiation or chemotherapy. Um, that's where we start. As a disease progresses over time, often what we find is that those disease modifying therapies or life prolonging therapies become less effective or the options become limited. The, you know, we're on our second or third round of chemotherapy. We've had a lot of radiation. Maybe there's not a lot of surgical options left, things of that nature. Palliative care starts to ramp up as the disease progresses, meaning symptom management, um, anxiety, depression, family support, social needs, chaplaincy, you know, spiritual kind of support. Over time, the palliative care piece ramps up as the disease progresses. When we get to end of life or prognosis of six months or less is where we transition patients from that disease modifying therapy, life prolonging therapy to hospice, which is where we 100% focus on comfort care, making sure that patients um, are getting time with their families and with their loved ones. And so we're just focused on symptom management, comfort care type pieces with hospice. At death, after um, a patient passes, what's wonderful about hospice care is that we also continue to care for family and friends with our bereavement services after a loved one passes. The idea is, is that all hospice is palliative care. Not all palliative care is hospice. Um, and palliative care can happen at the same time as any and all aggressive interventions and treatments. Um, so hopefully that helps explain palliative care versus hospice when one starts and when one ends.